Except I think Instagram is pretty much useless, but Facebook and TikTok are where it's at. I, I like the ability to share photos the way that Instagram does it. Yeah. Um, but I know like they they changed things up, mm -hmm. you know, to try and like push reels and stuff. I'm like, yeah, oh, they yeah, do cool, better on but... my pictures do better on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What about MySpace? I'm on it. <laughs> yeah, what what about just, MySpace? You still got a what MySpace, happened to MySpace profile. MySpace? <laughs> yeah, I just put Liz in the top ten. <gasps> She's my top three. Oh. <gasps> no <laughs> way. I had no idea. Yeah. Dude. I just got a new sparkle theme on my MySpace. What? <laughs> what is your username? What's what's the song you chose for your profile? Yeah, what's your profile to song? To express yourself so people know. <laughs> oh, well, right now it's Ohio because I just finished the Hawthorne Heights. Ohio is for lovers. <laughs> <laughs> I almost wore that shirt tonight. <laughs> Cut my wrist in black Maya. Cut my wrist in black Maya. Oh, wait, dude, he, the, the guitar player slash screamer liked that video I did. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. I was like... Whee! He brought his GoPro into House of Blues and video. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hey, you know what? Sometimes, like, you got to do what you got to do to get video, like, yeah. content. That was Dude. one of the hardest things for me is I would go to showcases or, like, do something like that. But it would just be me. Yeah. So I, I didn't have anybody who could, like, take pictures or film me. So I would, like, prop my phone up, like, on a table <laughs> or something and just Hell pray yeah. that nobody walked in front of it while I was performing. And I was yeah. like, please have a good video. Yeah, please, like, just one. Just one song. <laughs> just like, That's all I need. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. It's like muffled from the audio, the camera. Yeah, or like there's someone walks by and it goes. Bloop. <laughs> <laughs> or like, or like you get that person that's like sitting at the table next to them and they're and, and they're just like chatting about, I don't know, Talking whatever. Shit. Yeah. Just like <laughs> straight up. <laughs> well, I, there was there was one video that I I was I was really excited because I was I think it was like one of the times I like did an original song or whatever. Mm -hmm. And once again, it was I, I was by myself, so I just kind of had to prop my phone somewhere. And this guy had like a whole ass conversation <laughs> about just like some shit that was going down. And I was like, in his live? <laughs> no, not in the live. Like, because I, I wasn't doing it live. I was just recording it. So yeah, that, in, in like, his life. Yeah. Yeah, in his life. Like, he was just, he was, whoever was sitting next to him, because like you can't see him because the, the camera was pointed <laughs> just at me. Hear him. <laughs> and you just hear him. He's like, yeah, you know, Becky was, you know, doing blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, the I, entire time through my song. And I'm I like, wrote an original <laughs> song and you're telling me about your problems. Yeah, and he's, and he's, post this that dude's shit. just no. like talking to whoever next to him about just like the problems going on in his life. And I was like, <sighs> he's like, man, that was a good song too. And yeah, I still listen to Jimmy oh and Jimmy over here talking about mm. whatever. <laughs> that sucks. Next time, tell us and I'll come video. Yeah, we That's are, my job. We're experts. We're experts. Yeah. Experts. Yeah. I yeah, will gladly about. come video. Yeah. I do it all the time. But it's just phone quality, usually. Well, but honestly, like, the phones <laughs> nowadays, the, the quality is, is really good. Yeah. yeah well, he, I, he I don't trust my parents phone. to film for me, though. <laughs> <laughs> it might be them. <laughs> well, no, so, so, so actually, at, at the rodeo... Um, you know, Tom has just such a huge network of people that he, like, knows mm -hmm. or, like, people that know people and whatever. Holland? And there was a, huh? Tom, oh. Tom McKinney, my vocal coach. Okay. And uh, and so there was a lady that reached out to him because um, she was trying to find singers to sing the national anthem to, like, open the rodeo for, mm -hmm. like, a couple of dates. And, you know, she was like, oh, can you just give me a list of, like, your top, you know, six or. Top baddies. Yeah, six top or five list. or six people or whatever. And. You know, obviously my name was on the list. And so I reached out to her because they let me know that they gave her my name. And I was like, hey, you know, uh, they told me that they spoke with you about me and everything. And she's like, yeah, what date do you want? And I was like, oh, I get to pick. Uh, so I picked. Nice. And it went really well. Um, but I had my dad film and I showed him how to use my phone because like their iPhones are like four, seven years old. <laughs> yeah. And they refuse to get new phones. Yeah. I'm like. You do you. Uh -huh. So I showed him exactly how to use my phone, the camera, the video recording, everything like that. And he recorded everything except the national anthem. No. And I was like, no. Because oh. I had so many people like, oh, we can't wait to see the video. And I was like, there is no video. Oh. That's so sad. I know. And I, I know he felt so bad. I and could call up like, Space Force and get the satellite footage. I bet if right. you like put a post out there and say, hey, I sang the national anthem on so and so day, I bet somebody out there yeah, $3, has $3, a video. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Reward. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was like, I, I think I sang it like, 
eight thirty in the morning. Oh, so it like was like before, super yeah. early, and really the people in the crowd, <laughs> um, they were there for like the horse cutting, <laughs> yeah, and and everything like that. So, uh, but. Granted, I wasn't looking out to see if anybody else was filming because I was assuming yeah. my dad was filming. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Like, thanks, we dad. still love you. <laughs> like, oh, I still love you, dad. but Mom's going to record from now on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> we, met, we had the pleasure to meet them at the show. I know. Yeah, I got to talk yeah. to them. Yeah. I, they're, they're so sweet. And... I actually met them, and I didn't meet you, so. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, I know that uh, by the time they were talking to y'all, like, they were already like, come on, get on the stage. And we were like, oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah, y'all were performing when we yeah. were talking to yeah, him. Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah, we so. were sitting back there listening to y'all. Your mom is so sweet. Oh, she is. She's so she's sweet. She's the best. <laughs> and she's such an animal lover. Like, she'll, like, she is just obsessed with the little chickens mm, that so we've sweet. got at my Aww. place now. And and she, like, started naming them. And, and we have this uh, this little group of three chicks that we that we got after the initial six that, that we bought. And, um... You know, they're all siblings and everything like that. And there's three of them. And we're like, man, I wonder who's a hen and who's a rooster. And there's one of them that was, like, real protective. And he's like, hey, hey. And, <laughs> and he's like, he's just a little guy. And I was like, that guy's Big Daddy. And we're going to call him <laughs> Big, Big Daddy. Because, like, we put Is it him, a rooster? We're pretty sure yet. he's a rooster. <laughs> oh, it's still technically too young to tell. Yeah. But just based on, like, how we've watched the roosters that, like, my neighbors have act, we're like, that's Definitely. rooster you behavior. Tell. Yeah. So, you know how you tell, right? Well, I've got spurs, and then... He's about to tell you something really dumb. It's not right, dumb? Yes. <laughs> you, no, please, it, enlighten me. You know how you tell all mammals, uh, every mammal oh, yeah. on Earth, Joe you Rogan. can tell if it's female or male by, they all share one thing you can tell by. You know what it is? <laughs> what? Taint link. <laughs> Literally. All mammals. We've talked about this, yeah. Yeah, all mammals, females have 50% on average smaller taint length. So you go out, huh. go check, go check those, all your chickens. You're like, yeah. yeah. Let me see your asshole. Yeah, well, and between the two. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Well, chickens just have holes. Yeah. So, oh my God. but yeah, you can go out there and you'll tell if he's a boy, he's. Right. What if he identifies as a girl? But I found out this information. Well, I'm just kidding. That's where I, I, that's where I, that's where I lose. Mind. I don't want to get mad. Right? I'm just kidding. Exactly, exactly. It's the way it is. But I found, I learned this from, um, oh, dude, it's a really underground podcast. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, I don't know if you heard of it. It's the Joe Rogan podcast. <laughs> it's like a, you might not have heard of it. You know, I don't, I don't know if you've ever heard of this person. Yeah, he, like, I don't know. Small. He's kind of, Did you ever watch Fear kind of, Factor? Kind of sucks, Yeah. <laughs> Remember yeah. him, the guy that hosted yeah. it? Yeah, I mean, this oh was way gosh. bigger. This podcast right now is <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Joe Rogan, you're done. Bye. But, uh, I yeah. mean, have yeah. you ever heard of Earl Shreds? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, of course, I live in Austin. <laughs> like, he's like, oh, since uh, I love Texas so much. I'm like, dude, you live in the worst city, and that's in yeah. the state. I'm, I think it depends on what, like, you're looking for, though. Because, like, I know some true. people, they just want to be walking distance from, like, bars, restaurants, blah, 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 blah. They are looking for a certain scene and, and everything true. like that. And yeah. it's like, I mean, if that's your, if that's your yeah. boat, you know, I'm like float, baby, grass. you know. Until I like, carpet bomb that city. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, you're going to you get. What, what, <laughs> what are you looking for in your city? Ruins? Charred out, burnt ruins? Oh my gosh. There's nothing in Austin but. Concrete. The demise of. Everything that is well, I noticed like um because beautiful <laughs> last year. Last year I got a chance to um sing in South by Southwest, and it, and it wasn't oh, like a huge cool. venue or anything, but it was still like a really cool experience. And I I got an Airbnb that was fairly close to where I was going to be performing and all that kind of stuff. And one of the things I find really interesting about and just any city, you know. Um, because I, I notice it in parts of Houston, too, where mm -hmm. you'll have, like, a part of the city that's, like, in the baby phases of, like, being renovated and everything yeah. like that. And you'll go through, like, almost these desert areas where, you know, everything's kind of run down or it's boarded up, closed, getting ready to, like, like be demolished. Pre-gentrification. Kind of <laughs> exactly. And then, and then it's, like, it's almost like there's this invisible line and then, poof, into, like, these fancy shops and houses and apartments yeah. and everything. And, and you're gross. just like— where did that come and from? And you're just like, didn't I just 
Is like it, what? Is that gross? <laughs> New dimension. Yeah, it's it's. <laughs> Don't you I, hate it? I stop. hate it. Yeah, I, well, I mean, I'm not really a city person. I I when I grew up in Michigan, and we had like a fourth of an acre that backed up on woods, and I'm not so, really like, a person. <laughs> Be quiet. Let her talk. <laughs> I'm not right. really a person. I'm just <laughs> I just, shred. Yeah, I just <laughs> I'm full shred. I'm just, I just do vibes, but. <laughs> I, I'm a country person too. Yeah, yeah. Well, and that's that's one of the reasons why I moved out to New Caney is because you know I, I lived in an apartment for a little while out in the Humble area, and like it was it was a very nice apartment. You yeah. know, they had good amenities. The apartment was a good size, but I mean, the, by the time I moved out, the amount that I was paying for rent, I was like, I might as well you be paying a for a mortgage. Yeah, you know, and. Uh, and I, I just felt I just felt really confined and like I yeah. wanted to do a lot more recording because I'd gotten, you know, equipment to do recording and it was impossible to record anything of like really good quality in the apartment. Yeah. Um, you know, because everything echoed real weird or um, I mean, that was off. just the, the space. But but also, you know all day and all night constantly people in and out of their apartments and you'd hear the door slams and so like I'd be doing a take or something and then in the middle of it just slam you know from the neighbor next door and then the dogs can't would freak that. out and everything and I'm like ah, I can't record anything that's yeah. miserable it, I know and it was so frustrating because like I was trying to learn my software and and everything like that and I just couldn't get good quality recordings because of all like the noise pollution and everything mm -hmm. and so when I found this property that um I live at now I mean it's just like it's like an acre and like oh, there's nice. woods right next door to me and, you know, so I used one of the guest rooms in my in my uh, trailer to and I just built my little studio <laughs> That's and cool. did the whole like blankets and everything in the little yes. closet where my microphone is. Yep. And um, yeah, I mean, it's just it's night and day with yeah. like the recording quality. It's it's crazy. 